Hello, this is Dana, and welcome to my channel. Today, I have a guest creator who's much better than I at these things, and she is the queen of swatches. I've named her, and if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll probably know who she is, and if you listen closely to the video, she'll give you a clue as to who she is, but right now, she'll remain my mystery guest. Thank you. Hi everyone, this is the Morphe Dare to Create 39A eyeshadow palette that we just received and you'll have to ignore my ugly fingernails. But I think so this was Morphe's basically holiday palette. Um I don't know if it's limited edition, but it's certainly gonna go on longer than just the holidays. And I saw several YouTubers that I enjoy watching and trust that they're honest. And in Babs Beauty in particular, um, Stephanie's channel, if you're not subscribed, you should check her out. She's um, great. She's very honest. And she um, is an amazing makeup artist. She put this in one of her favorites for 2017. And I'd been hesitant to buy it because it reminded me a lot of the Morphe 350. Um, and it comes with a sheet that has all the names on it, which is okay, you know, for the price, it's okay. Um, and you can see up here, it says, be your own muse, we dare you. And then these are the colors. And I have to say, I do like that you have sort of like your neutral section right here. And then you have your warms with some purples mixed in there. You can kind of look like right in here and really see a warm that's like classic warms. And then you have these beautiful, beautiful greens. And then you've got some cool, beautiful, cool colors. And I like that the transition colors right through here are bigger. And some of these, I wonder how they would work as like, um, like contours, I like to take palettes and try to make them do as much as I can. Be highlighters, blushes, contours. I did that with the Jaclyn palette. But it's a good variety. And I would have to say, like, the eyeshadow texture reminds me of some of Jaclyn's, uh, Jaclyn Hill's palette with them. They're very soft, as you can see. And there's the pigment right there. Um, just absolutely stunning. These blues are just stunning. Um, and I'll do some swatches and insert them. But then I will, let's see. I'll pick up a green right here. It's so soft. I hit this gold right here. And then I'll go up here and it this get, I mean there's several different mats and then I'm gonna get a couple other transition colors they're really really these mats are really buttery I'll randomly get this one and then just to give you an idea of the quality of the shadows um that's the that right there is the matte, and you can see how it pigmented it is. And that's a matte, and that's a matte. They're not so soft that they're crumbly, which I really like. And again, here's the blues. I can kind of rub them with my thumb to get a better idea. You can see they really smooth out, and the pigment just unbelievable. But anyway, I'll insert some pictures of the swatches. If you haven't checked out this palette, I recommend it. You can definitely get a variety of looks from natural to cool to warm tone. And thank you for watching. And I will have some swatches entered in. Alright, and here is the first top row. Right here. And I will do them by row. 
so there will be it's a huge palette but that was swatches of these colors right through there and there's a lot this is a huge palette I mean it's really large I would say I have a medium sized hand and this is my hand over it um you know you have one, two, three, four, five rows, and eight across, and then you have seven of the big ones, so it's a huge palette. So I'm not going to actually talk at all of them, but I'll just show you the rows as we go through them. Alright, and here is the second row, and I apologize, I can't show the swatches as I'm doing them. Um, but I'm just doing a one finger swatch. The really hot pink one, my finger might be a little bit wet. Um, which is the third one to the end. Um, so it might look a little bit more shimmery with the rest of them. I make sure my finger was dry. And that was this brown. I'm liking the quality of all of these. I do think that there's some duplicates that may be... They didn't have to put, there's some, definitely some similarities among the first two rows. Um, and transition colors, especially considering that you have the transitions, but we'll see when you go do an eye look. It is nice to have such a variety. Alright, and here is the middle transition colors. And I'm not using a primer or anything. It's just a one swatch kind of deal. Alright. And this is the fourth row. Only one more to go. You have some pretty greens. And taupes. And bronzy color. Like a goldy color. And a couple of the matte transitions there. Very pigmented on the uh, foil colors. Very, very pigmented. I love that green. And I think this one's going to be probably my favorite. But one more row to go. Alright. And this is the last row. And I have to say, I love those three shimmeries there. These two colors right here have a tremendous amount of fallout. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see right there. It's all over my blanket I was using. And it was this color and this color. I would say these two colors are passes in my book. I'll trauma my eyes. But for the most part, it's a big no for me on those. I mean, they didn't swatch. They swatched okay. But they are... Very, very messy. I mean, like, it's going to get on your face when you use those. And then it ends with a solid black, which was a nice solid black without without a lot of fallout. So this is the last row. Compared to this. And this is the palette. If you're someone that really enjoys palettes, um... I would recommend this one. I still like the Jaclyn Hill one better, but you definitely have more of a variety of colors in this one, where hers was mainly more warm tone with just a pop of a green and a purple. Uh, you have more options with this. Um, this is great for someone that wants to be artistic and play around, as they call it, the dare to create, I think. Just swatching it, I have eyeshadow looks in my head already. It definitely makes you excited. And looking at the colors, it makes you think about different eye looks you can do. Um, and for the money, you can't beat this one. Uh, you know, the Morphe shadows have improved tremendously over the years. And you just can't beat the price with the quality because most of these shadows work well. So I would say I recommend it right now, halfway, without actually putting it on my eyes. But having seen it on other people and swatching it, if you're interested, I would tell you to 
definitely you might want to buy this. I don't know if it's available in the Ulta store or not. But I bet mom would know that. I know it's available on Morphe. And if you buy it off of Morphe's website, you can use codes to get uh, usually a discount off. Alright, thanks. Thank you for watching this video, and I do hope you enjoyed the content that was brought to you. I enjoyed watching it myself. I'd like to say we love you, and please be kind to each other. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.